What we're looking at here is a very simple jQuery implementation of, I guess, what would be best called as a photo viewer gallery. I wouldn't necessarily call it a, a slideshow, simply for the fact that it doesn't automatically go from one image to another. And I use the term widget also when referring to this thing eh, loosely. I tried to build this thing that I could reuse it later. I mean, that's kind of the main goal with anything you do. Once you put in some effort to style this thing, I mean, once you make something like this, all the effort you put in the styling, functionality, and positioning, you want to build it in a way that you could always pop it into other projects that you're working on really quickly. Uh, actually, here is that same project with a black body and the reason I did that is just to show you that it actually sits in a container by itself so uh, the idea behind that is whenever you wanted to have a little viewer like this maybe on on the sidebar to the right or or I, I don't know wherever you'd want it in a whatever new project you make you could easily just kinda like bring this code over pretty without you know without too much fussing around uh, again this is a very simple jQuery implementation it's not sophisticated it doesn't automatically pull images from a folder or automatically populate the slideshow or the the link options that we have over here that goes from one to another I, in order to do that it's actually some some relatively sophisticated programming and if if you're new to jQuery probably your best bet wouldn't be to um, try to do that from scratch at all it would be go online and find whatever I'm sure there's a, a million jQuery slideshows that you know would be pretty easy to implement but uh, something like this is very simple it's easy to put together for certain situations it's great and and there's a lot to learn and once you build something like this from the ground up you'll have uh, a really f fine control over how it works and how it behaves so for right now I'm just gonna kind of give you an overview of what's going on when this page loads essentially what it's loading is all of the images in this slideshow so I just disabled my JavaScript on my page and I'm gonna give it a refresh and if you see here are all the images for the different links this is a image sprite in the sense that this is all coming from one big graphic file that I created and this actual functionality when the JavaScript is enabled, what's happening here is that each one of these links just applies a different class, or actually, no, no, it it shows and hides all the different classes rather. So when I click on Beastie Boys, it's showing the Beastie Boys class, and it's hiding the Run DMC, the Slick Rick, and the Grandmaster Flash ones, and obviously when I click on Grandmaster Flash it shows the Grandmaster Flash hides the rest and and so on so oh and also because these when I say it shows the class I essentially created all these uh, four different div containers actually if we look at the code I created four different div containers each one with two different classes the uh, its unique class that pulls its picture specifically and the image pane class this was something that all of these had in common and it, it was useful for me to use so what happens is if we look at firebug let me start by refreshing this we see that the code that's being loaded over here all of these elements have uh, a style with the exception of Beastie Boys on load has a style of display block and all of these are display none now when I click on one of these links let's go to uh, run DMC you should keep your eye over here this run DMC this style is gonna go from display none to display block and that's 
what's happening through the JavaScript and the JavaScript that's executing that is um, well specifically for that it's fade in but it's like show and hide I'm hiding I'm hiding what's actually what I'm doing is I'm hiding the image pane and then I'm showing on this link Grandmaster Flash and if we refer to let's go to my jQuery you'll see that at the very beginning I hide the image pane which hides all of the images and then I fade in the Beastie Boys now I've set button functionality on all of these things and if you look here the li item because that link is a list item uh, the li item with the Beastie Boys class is going to do two things one hide the image pane which actually it's essentially going to hide itself for a second right because the image pane is also a class associated with all of these now that's a way that's the technique I use to basically hide all of the images and then show one and that's where after it's hidden it fades in the Beastie Boys class now if we go down the line over here it's pretty much all the same code um, all of these individual buttons first hide the win the image pane and then they show the associated um, picture and what's interesting I'll show you as well is it's not just a picture file because I'm setting it up as a background it makes it makes it hard to take this image because look if I click and drag this image like I'm gonna save it to my desktop instead of actually getting the image I just get some some untitled clipping which is similar to uh, when you go online and try to just pop some text off of somewhere you kinda get the same thing um, this specific implementation will I don't know at least keep the less savvy uh, web uh, less savvy visitors from taking your images I mean honestly if if you're really bent on not allowing people to grab your images off offline well that's really tough to do I mean I, I don't think there's any as of I know there's no real good way to do it because I mean short of watermarking your picture because even if you had some like the best JavaScript that wouldn't allow me to right click on it wouldn't allow me to do anything as far as Mac's concerned I could just take a, a screenshot you know this is through my Mac I'm not even touching the web page and once I've done that there it is so I guess just keep in mind that there's no real great way to hide your images although when I look at that like iStock.com or those stockphotos.com or whatever all the previews that they put they really put a whole big thing over here you know like um, just make them unusable with a watermark that they put on top of that